Welcome to Little Big Thumbs. My name is JP, aka Big Papa Thumbs, and in today's video, we are going to learn how to play Tiger Stripes, the card game. This game plays two to four players and lasts approximately 15 minutes and is recommended for ages seven and up. The game is designed by Isabel Duberry with artwork from Felicia Kano, and it is published by Flying Meeple, who were kind enough to sponsor this video. And now, why don't we take a look? at the table. Inside the box, we'll find four double-sided player cards, 28 tiger stripe tokens, and the core deck of cards, which is comprised of tiger cards, as well as prey cards. And the prey cards come in four varieties, snakes, monkeys, deer, and boars. In Tiger Stripes, the card game, folks will be playing as adorable tiger cubs, all of whom are looking to prove themselves by earning their stripes. Stripes are earned by collecting sets of three identical prey cards, or two prey cards and a tiger card. How are these prey cards collected? Well, let's set up the game and learn how to play. To set up Tiger Stripes, the card game, players will each receive seven stripe tokens as well as one player card. The player card will be placed on the table with the side showing the empty token spaces face up. Shuffle the main deck of cards and deal each player two cards, which should be kept hidden from the other players. Five more cards will be dealt face up into the middle of the table, which is called the jungle. The remainder of the deck can be placed face down on the table in close proximity to that jungle row. And with that, we are now set up to play the game. The winner of Tiger Stripes the Card Game will be the first player to place all seven of their stripe tokens onto their player card. Players will be taking separate turns with play passing clockwise around the table until one player has achieved stripey victory. Each turn in the game will involve taking one of three possible actions. The first option is to draw a single card from the draw pile and add it to your hand. Just like in the setup, cards collected this way are kept hidden from other players. It's worth noting that there is no hand limit in the game, so you never have to worry about how many cards you are holding. Instead of taking a card from the deck, a player can choose to take a single tiger card from the jungle and add that to their hand. Players will want to be mindful of the jewels that appear in the top left corner of the cards because, as we're about to find out, the third option in the game is for a player to trade jewels from their hand to capture prey cards from the jungle. Unlike the other options, a player can capture any number of prey cards from the jungle. However, after each prey is captured, the jungle is not immediately refreshed. To capture a prey card, a player discards one or more cards from their hand so that the gems discarded match those on the prey card. It's okay to have extra gem cards on these discarded cards, but each prey card must be fully captured before attempting another meaning that any leftover gems from a capture cannot be used. If after taking one of the three options mentioned previously, a player has a set of three matching prey cards, they must be discarded to earn stripes for that player. The number of stripe tokens earned will be equal to the stripes printed on one of the matching cards in the bottom right corner. Stripe tokens are placed on the matching spaces of their player card, showing how close each player is to claiming all seven of their stripes. In addition to, or instead of, playing a set of three matching cards, a player can choose to play two matching prey cards along with any tiger card to create a set of three cards. The same number of stripes are earned as if they were playing three matching cards. Once any sets are played and the stripes are earned, it's time to refresh the jungle. If there are fewer than five cards in the row, draw cards from the stack until five cards are once again in the row. The first player to play their seventh stripe token onto their player card immediately wins the game. They can now flip over their player card to show off their full complement of stripes in bright and bold colors. And that just about does it for our look at Tiger Stripes, the card game. Thank you again to Flying Meeple for giving us the opportunity to create a tutorial for this video. And if you have any questions about how to play the game, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Little Big Thumbs, please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even hitting that bell so you get notifications when our new content arrives. And until next time, whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you're playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now.